Yo, what's up guys? It's Zach. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be updating our Kronos fit. So we've done this like eight years ago, then about six years ago, then two years ago, and now it's finally up to... This is like pimping it out to the max, yeah guys. So we're, we've actually from last year added a thousand DPS. Like, can you believe that? It's absolutely nuts. Uh, but before we get started, I just want to give a shout out to CCP for giving us partners access to the test server before Viridian released. Obviously it's been on VIP mode, so... We got a chance to dive in and test out all the things. So there is a couple of changes to the Kronos, like I say. And uh, yeah, let's dive into it. So we'll just open the fit real quick here. Yeah? So a couple of years ago, the fit was like 5,300 DPS or something. So it's not too bad. Not a lot's changed and we'll get back to this empty mid slot in two seconds. So if we sim it up and then see what the max potential damage is now. You can see it's like... 6,314 DPS. Now that's actually <laughs> quite insane. I, was, I wasn't expecting much more damage, to be honest, because we're using just a few more drugs. I mean, there's obviously the login drugs now, so we can't actually go past this if we use the 4% the uh, turret damage login drug, which we're getting. That'll obviously push up a little bit more, but man, this is uh, pretty quick. So everyone knows pretty much that the Marauders have... Uh, some of them have been nerfed a little bit, but some of them have been uh, buffed, in my opinion, for, like, PvE and things. Obviously, for PvP, uh, they're a little bit... Uh, they've got less boost than everything now, but the Kronos is probably the one that's had the best buff, really, because it's actually had, after all these years of people asking for it, an extra mid slot, which makes it really, really strong. I mean, look at this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five mids. And then all the lows there as well. So obviously on mine, because we're running polarized, I run the shield fit just for that burst rep. Just to keep her alive a little bit. I don't really like relying on um, like slow armor reps to, to balance out the damage that's coming. with the instant rep as soon as we hit it. So pretty much the same as last uh, time, I think. In fact, that's actually got the web on. So that's how I would run mine with the web. Now we have got some options this time, which I'll just show you here. So I was thinking the cap's pretty bad on it, really. Um, let's just unactivate these because generally we won't be using them a lot. So we'll go for like 10 minutes, which isn't too bad. I think that's like actually like plenty. But if you wanted a bit more cap, you know, you just plug one of those in. And then we're like 25 minutes, so that's basically stable. And if you wanted some more boost, then you just drag that in. And now we're sitting at 3,532 hit points every 4 seconds, which is rather nice. And without 2,543, so that is actually a... That's probably the bet, the safest bet, obviously having the more tank. Uh, but I've been enjoying having the grapple. There is a couple of times where you don't really get uh, scrammed too much, so you can't like MJD away or whatnot. But if you, you're quick at killing the frigates and things, you obviously won't get stuck. And we we'll have got the drone, which is the, the gecko this time around. And with the grapple, that just makes everything like a lot easier, so... It's pretty nice, so let's put that on because, like I say, that's what I would use and I've been having some pretty much good success. Now, it is obviously, like, massively expensive, this, and the whole point of um, just showing this, really, I mean, I'm not really going to use it on TQ. Uh, I, I might use it once or twice just for, like, maybe a future video and then we'll put it away again for the, the next time the Marauders get changed, but it's just to really show you guys, like, the potential that you can do. It's... And of course, because it's like blasters, it's a lot of it is paper DPS, but I'll show you in a couple of clips where we're like MJD on top of battleship gangs and uh, just like like one, two shotting them. I mean, the fire rate on this, let's just have a check here. So the fire rate, 1.66 seconds. Now for large hybrid turrets, that's quite a lot. And obviously that's where you get all that like crazy damage boost number from. All right, for implants, I uh, went crystals this time just to be a little bit more safer. Uh, so it's a full high grade set, including the Omega. And we've got the coordination enhancer from Ogden's Eye. That is a 6% tracking speed bonus, I believe, which is really nice. Yep, yeah, 6%. So everything pretty much works well with the web as well. And we've got the surgical strike, 906, so that's 6% damage. Uh, the large hybrid turret, 6% damage there, so that's a, a double bonus from tracking. And the boosters, now I didn't really use these uh, in the last video because I don't think they were actually in the game, right? Apart from, obviously, the Pyrolancer and the uh, Lakora. So, the other ones weren't because I'm pretty sure these are new. But we'll, we'll run down what these actually do, guys, just uh, really quickly. So, more tracking speed on that one, 8%. Now, that's uh, pretty good. I use that quite a lot on uh, things like the Wolf and stuff as well. So, that's, these are pretty nice. It can be fairly expensive on TQ, though, but... 
The Drifter drugs are, are pretty good. There's quite a few of them to be having a look at. And the Pyrolancer, this just gives you like ultimate damage. So 9% extra damage there to everything. Uh, defense booster. This one was pretty new as well. So that's a massive 12% bonus to your shield boost, which is pretty big. And the next one is velocity modifier. So we've got 8%. There wasn't really anything I could put on there. Um, so we'll actually get capacitor need bonus minus 12% to oh, our mighty warp drives as well. And we get a little bit of warp speed bonus. So that helps uh, like just battleships in general, right? And with the cap. And the last one is just a damage modifier, which is 8%. So these drugs are pretty much the reason why we're getting a lot more damage now. So yeah, it all works out pretty well. Alright, as for the other types of ammo, obviously we're not going to be using Void like a lot of the time really. So it's a bit of a null boy here. So the range is actually quite impressive. We can I was actually in the video, you probably see if I've got a plane in the background, we were hitting like battleships at like 55 kilometers for like pretty decent damage as well. The the fall-off graph's really good because you're still doing high damage even at your max fall-off because the initial like DPS number is like so huge. So that's uh, something to keep in mind as well. So you can pretty much rock this with null and just blap things too. Um, and obviously the void, like cold. So we're still doing like cold what we were doing heated last time, the, the couple of years ago of it. So, all right, guys, I think that wraps it up for the Polarized Kronos, the 2023 version, which we'll have to save again. So thanks again, CCP, for giving us the early access to the Viridian on the test server. That's been pretty nice. Uh, definitely something that's new from the partner program as well. And in the next vid or two, we're going to be having a look at the rail fit because generally most of the time I'll be running this with rails and rails have actually had a pretty substantial buff in this patch as well. So watch out for that. Okay, guys, thanks very much. And I will see you in the next one.